Welcome back to the channel everybody, we're here today still in Portugal, we're at Benamore Golf Club uh, in the Algarve and today we're going to do a two man scramble. Yeah, we've not done one since we did the Horsford video where I think, did we break or? Yeah, we broke half and it's one under. One under, so our goal is to try and go at least one better than that score if we can. You might have to bear with us today because if you've seen the previous videos, it's not been great. We've been pretty rusty. Uh, Fence hasn't played much over winter. I'm still recovering from this knee ligament injury, so we will do our best. But we're thinking between the two of us, we should be able to. We should be. We should be hitting some birdies today, I would think. We're going to try. Let's get over to the first tee. Okay, hole one is a 300 meter. It's quite a short par four. I'm going to start things off and then Fence is going to rescue me most likely. <laughs> Don't know about that. Shot. Maybe rolled up into the left rough, not sure. Bomb one fence. Okay, so I'm going driver as well. See if I can fade one a bit round those trees. Yes, mate, even better. Even yeah. better. Perfect shot for the first one. Okay, so we're gonna take my drive here, center of the fairway. Luke's just ended up on the rough a little bit over to the left, but we should have a straight shot into the green here. It's 100 yards, but I'm gonna take a picture wedge winds into a bit. Just don't feel like I have to smack it. Too far? No, good shot. Yeah, good shot. Thank you. Middle of green. Okay, fence has put one in there nice and tight. So there's no pressure on this shot. This looks even better. Shot. Oh, I think it's spinning back. Oh yeah, it is. Nightmare. Okay, so we're taking my ball here, close to the hole, for put for a solo birdie. Ooh. Quite a long way left. Yeah. Go on. It's not giving it enough. I'll knock it in to get it out of the way of these ladies. And that's a par. Mm. Par to start. Right, hole two is 133 yard par three. Got a bunker front left and front right, so just trying to carry them, put us on the green. We're searching for them birdie looks. Oh, oh dear. That's gone. Bye ball. <laughs> bye bye. Oh dear. Right, so I'm gonna have to somewhat save the day here. Please save me fence. 133 yards, I'm going eight iron. Yeah, and he's played a corker. Ooh, Ooh just shot. front edge. Yeah. Work to do, mate, work yeah, to do. That's okay. Okay, so we've ended up short, pitched here. It's come back a bit. I did hit a bit out of the toe, so it wasn't the greatest connection. We've got a bit of a hill to run up here, so I'm gonna chip a 50 degree up. Not just awful, but down, not great. I think I will use my 56, you know. Okay, let me try and put it in fen inside fences. Stay there. Just a bit spinny, wasn't it? Okay, try to save the power then. Need this one fence, we can't do with bogeys on the card. No, we can't, not this early. Yeah, it's quite far right, you know. Right. It is quite far right. It turns a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'd say just on the inside of that ball marker. Get there. Oh! <laughs> You've already put it in for the bogey, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, no. Bogey's not great. Both to one over. Right, on to hole three. This is a 247 metre par four, it says. So it's not a particularly long one. Probably going up about 300 yards. We can see the green just past the trees. Let's see how close we can get. Straight down. Just peeling a little bit right, but it's fine. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Should be a long way down that one. It's right at the green though. All right, so I don't think I really need to be hitting one here, but you never know, we might get a better position on the fairway. So let's just see if we can hit another good one. Uh, it's a little right, it's peeling right. Yeah, yeah, a bit further right than Luke's, but Luke should be good. We've got a good one in play. 
We need to get that bogey back quickly so we can get ourselves under par. Hopefully. Right, unfortunately, my ball, it was a cracking drive, but it's ended up in that front bunker. Uh, so we're going to take fences. It's back here. It gives us a pitch into the green instead. 70 yards. 70 yards. Take us away, fence. All right. Go. Be Go. good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's really good, mate. Yeah, I'm Good shot, that. good shot, good shot. Okay, fence has set the target there. Can I get inside him? I hope not. Really? In both, me in both meanings of the word. <laughs> nah, I do. <laughs> Put it close. Get it in. Way too long. Way too long. Fences ball it is. Okay, so a good pitch shot there from me from 70 yards. We've got a look at Birdie here. What are you see. seeing it? Yeah, I think left edge. Do you think? Okay. Oh. oh dear. Will you pull that pin, mate? Because it's leaning slightly. Yeah. Zoom. <sighs> Zoomies. Wow. Wow. Tap that in. Oh, that bubble. Oh, Luke. What are you doing? That bubble. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> That was lazy. There Just. We go. Oh, Papa, made that thank you. Car it is. Well done, Fence. You carried yeah. me there. Cheers, mate. Okay, so hole number four. It's about 260 yards. It's downhill. I'm going to hit a driver. Yeah, that's awesome, that fence. Hopefully that's over the tree. Okay, target set. Fence has put a brilliant one down there, so any further past that's just a bonus really at this point. Shot was. Yeah, right down the middle. Come on! Right, it was an absolutely worldy drive. We didn't realise at the time, but I mean the pin's there. And we're on a par four. So if we can't get this shot back, there's something wrong. Let's try to chip this close and tap in for birdie. Yeah, good shot. Come on. Looks good enough. Right, so as you said, was it a monster drive? Not far from the pin here. I'm gonna do a little chip as well, seeing as was has put that fairly close. Oh, I've thinned it. That wasn't good. Doesn't matter, mate. Okay, for a solo birdie. And get us back to level par. Yeah, well played. Come on. Don't That's need it. two alt. Back to level par. Come on, mate. Hole five then. This is a 490 yard par five. It's all uphill though. Uh, so it's gonna play a bit longer than that. Off the tee, it looks fairly straight away. Just trees left and right. I can't really see any bunkers. So ball in the fairway should be good. Yeah, it didn't, didn't look great. Didn't look great. Okay, so we'll just put one in the right. See if I can get one just in the middle. Oh, no. Hey, it's a worker. It's an absolute worker. Not the best. We can use all. it. Put off by them super bikes. Not what we needed. <laughs> right, we think we've got about 272 yards. Luckily, my ball was still in play. It's just in this open, rough area. Obviously never played the course, but we think we need to be straight over these trees. We're gonna both take seven iron because we think that puts us in the fairway and leaves us a shot into this par five green. Joking. Oh, I missioned that as well. Uh oh. All on fence. Please save me, mate. One in the fairway, please. Okay, so I'm also gonna take a seven iron. Hopefully I don't hit that tree that Luke's just hit, which seems to be 90% tree. Yeah, it's got through. It did also clip the tree though, which isn't ideal. It's not a million miles down there, is it? No, I think we're gonna uh, have another long shot in. Long iron required. 
Okay, so it didn't go very far that ball because it clipped that tree. Uh, we've got 206, I'm going to take hybrid, get it up there hopefully. Oh, sit down. It's clipped one, but it's gone right. Yeah, right at that bunker, I think, mate. Not too bad. Okay, I'm going to take four iron instead. See if I can put us in a better position. Shot. <sighs> Needed that, lads. Absolute worldy of a four iron. Should have taken two. <laughs> right, okay. Four iron somewhat rescued it. If we can chip this close and get away with the par, that'd be pretty good. Please do better, fence. Yeah, not the best chip I've ever seen, Luke. It. Please do better. Let's see if I can get it a bit closer. Yes, it's already better. Oh, it's a wonderful shot. Get Just in. checked up a bit too much, didn't it? Okay, so a decent chip there. Just a little bit short, but gives a manageable put for par here. I pushed it. Ah, just ever so slightly pushed it. Yeah. Fence carried me on the chip. Let's see if I can help him out with this putt. Yes. Come on. Get in. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. You stay level par. Snatched a par. <laughs> Hole six then, my watch is telling me it's a 380 yard par four. It's into wind though, although it does look like it could be a bit downhill if we can get past these two trees in the fairway. So me to go first and then fence to rescue if needed. Is it that way? Yeah, oh dear. This is not the wind we need, fence. No, they're not, not with a, let's call it a super fade. We don't like the term slice here. Shot. Yeah, that's Absolute a Absolute strip down mids. Thank you. Country mile down the middle, that one. Should see as good. Again, not sure why I'm hitting one here, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Oh, he hits a bullet, to be fair to him. Tell you what, mate, if that gets its running shoes on. To be fair, that's probably one of the best drives I've hit this week. Yeah, it's that a real good That was super fade. <laughs> right, this was genuinely nearly a 300 yard drive. I mean, it's all downhill, to be fair, but still, drive of my life. So 91 yards left into this pin. I'm just going to hit a full sand wedge into it, see what happens. Looks That's good. Really Maybe high. Right, but wind's killed it. Oh, oh. no way! <clears throat> it just missed it on the right hand side and bounced down the green. I'm going to hit a soft pitching wedge. Hopefully, get it on the green. Yes, much better fence. This could be really good. Be good. Be good. <laughs> there we go. Get in. So after a really good approach shot there with a pitching wedge. Awesome shot. We've got about five foot for birdie. Oh. It is. Oh. It is just right edge, isn't it? It, it is. is just right edge. Yes. yes. Well in. Come on. Birdie time. Birdie time. Pole seven then. This is another par five. Watch is telling me it's 433 metres, but again, it's uphill, and then it looks like it plateaus. Trees down the left and right, so ball in fairway, please. Get over that tree. Yeah. yeah. Centre fairway, perfect. So another good one. Need driver to keep working. Yeah, I'm going driver as well. Just keep the consistency going. Oh, I've hit my 60 degree driver. <laughs> It'll be fine, mate, just down left. Yeah. yeah. Don't matter, we don't need it anyway. No, we don't. Keep going. <laughs> Pressure are off. Right, we think we've got just over 200 yards. So given how well this four iron ran last time, I'm just gonna hit this again. Oh dear, do not want that. No. It's the scuttler. Big time, wasn't it? Right, so was it a little scuttler down there? Yeah, it gives a good one fence. If I can get a bit further. Yes. It's gone a bit right, but. I tell you what, that'd be good, mate. Yeah, it'd be really good. It'll be closer, I think it bounced a little bit left. Shot that, mate. Ah, mate. So I have it a pearler of an hybrid there. 
we've ended up just short of the green so we've got a chip on up to the flag oh it's another cracking chip if it sits yes yeah mate. not bad well played right can i put it closer Honestly not sure, needed a little bit more juice. Let's go see which one's closer. All right, fences chip was a bit closer. So now we've got another birdie look. Oh, way too quick, mate. Way too quick, and it's quite, it's quite right to left. Okie doke. Take my glove off, don't want any abuse. <laughs> okay, for birdie. Uh, I didn't put it out enough. Uh, didn't same. put it out enough. Ugh. It's the same. It's just, just in off the left side. Yeah, yes. well done. That's thanks to Elmer. If you give us a like, we'll take a par. We stay on the par, played mate. Right, hole eight is a par three. We've zapped it at about 169 because it's playing uphill. Bunkers front left and sort of back right, or just to the right of the green. So I'm going to take a six sign and just try and thread it through the middle. Short. Get there. Get there. Oh. It was a bit fat and I lost a bit of distance, but the line was phenomenal. I'm going to take my hybrid, maybe take a little bit off it, but I think I'd rather get there. Dodging power lines. Short as well, took too much off it. Yeah. Never mind, we're on the front edge chipping. Right, we had very much of a muchness there between mine and Luke's shots. We've gone for mine just with it being a little bit of a better angle. Um, we just want to get close with this if we can. Just like that. Ooh. Oh, it's rolled a bit, hasn't it? Yeah, maybe land it a little bit shorter. Right, okay, Fence has put a pretty good one in there. Let's see if I can get it a bit closer. I wouldn't mind being short of it and then we can put up the hill. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, we'll just go with fences. <laughs> right, we're running a little bit past here, but we think it's pretty straight. Ooh. Oh! I think you pushed it slightly. Mm. Another yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, well done. Oh. Lovely. The slowest roll in history. Yeah. <laughs> Another par. Right, to finish the back nine, hole nine, this is a 323 yard par four. It's sort of dog leg around to left there, so I'm gonna try and hug the corner, see if I can hit a little draw, put us in a good position. Ball. Oh, is it too far right? No, it's fine. I think it's straight in that, I think it's straight in that bush. Right, okay. Too far, I think. Right, so I'm gonna hit driver as well. Just going to tee up a bit further over just in case I get too much of a fade here. I'm going to try to go over that corner. Please sit down, this could be good. I think caught the trees. I think, yeah, I think it's caught the tree. Hopefully it's managed to run through. It's not, oh, a, long, no. it's not a long hole, so hopefully we should be fine either way. Yeah, even if it's hit it, we should have a shot in. Come on. Right, my, my drive ended up in the rubbish over there on the right hand side and fences caught the tree, so this is the best of a bad bunch, unfortunately. Uh, we're about 154, I'm gonna hit seven iron. Ah, really thin. Straight in the bunker. Fen Ooh. Fence recovery service is required. Okay, yeah, I got unlucky with hitting this tree here, but I'm gonna hit a seven iron as well. Keep it a bit low and hopefully still get us there. Oh, I've hit it thin as well. Two terrible shots from us there. Actually, that'll work out though. Yeah, we can play from there, mate. Not good though, is it? It's not good, it's not pretty. <laughs> yeah, exactly, we kept it low. <laughs> okay, so not the best 7 9 11 hit, but we've got something to work with here. Okay, needs getting up and down for par here to keep this round going. run oh that mate that'll do a job yeah it's still a bit short. short again all being a bit short aren't they 50 wedge for me oh, that bounce is gonna kill it if 
that might have been really good, you know. If I'd have carried that lump, never mind. Right, fence has put us somewhat close. See if we can drain it for a long path. Wow, that was the line. It's literally just left side. Okay, can I save it? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh. That one didn't move at all. Oh well. Not it's to be. It's a bogey at the last. Not to be. Hole number 10. We've turned round, I think, level par. Yeah, we have. Um, so we've got a nice little par three here. It's about 151 yards over a, like a canyon, a bit of a lake down there, but shouldn't come into play. I say that now. I'm hitting seven iron. Uh, it's gone a bit right. Yeah, it's not a bad miss, mate. Yeah, we'll take it. It's not a bad miss. Okay, I'm gonna fall a fence and hit a seven iron. It's probably an eight iron club, but I'm scared of that coming back and uh, missing on the short side. So I'll drive it up past. Not got there because it's so fat. Yeah. Said I didn't want to miss short and then fight about three inch behind the ball. We've not played par threes well today. Make it make sense. So far. <laughs> so we've ended up short right here. It's not a bad miss to be fair. Uh, so another chip on. Yeah, Had a get, lot of these today. Get it close, mate. Sit. Mm. Am I either going long or short? I can't seem to get a... Zoomed, didn't it, that? Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can put it closer than that. Wow. Good shot, Monique. Awesome. These are rapid though. No good for the up and down boys, let me tell you. Right, two terrible chips from the boys there. Let's see if we can get drain a long one. Just scared of it. I mean, that used to be a hole. So it did used to be a hole. Do we take that? <laughs> Go on then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my oh. word. It's another bogey. Yeah. Par threes have been shocking today. Hole 11 then, this is a 247 yard par four. We actually can't see too much off the tee because of this big hill, but I assume it slopes down afterwards. Big tree up on the right hand side, obviously, it shouldn't be in play. It's just a matter of how far we can get down there, I think. Drilled, dead Chip. straight. Straight towards the pin. Hopefully that's a pretty long way down there. Okay, so as soon as we don't know what's down there, you know, it could be behind a tree or whatever, I'm gonna hit one. But that was a cracking shot. He's gonna bomb one. Yes, boy. That is cracking flag, I think. Bounce left, maybe. Yeah. Should have two good options there. Yeah, decent. Okay, so decent drive here from me. We're 60 yards away. So it's just gonna be a pitch on with a 50. If that sits, that could be golden. That could be all over it, but I don't know what the green's like, whether it's downhill or not, so yeah. we'll have to see. Let's just have another good one. Or a thin. Let's hope fences is close. Okay, so world of a pitch shot there from me. So we've just got to tap in for birdie. There we go. Solo birdie for fence. Solo birdie. Happy days, thank you. Good that, mate. Cheers, man. Well done. We needed that. Right, hole 12. This is another par three. We're determined to play one of these well. This is 155 yards. I've just been told not to go in this tree. So as long as I do that, I'll be happy. Let's give it a go. Oh, have I hit too far? On the green, maybe? Oh, no. Too far. She warned me about that as well, and I've, not, I've ignored her. <laughs> okay, fence, I need you to save me. Right, I'm going seven iron as well. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing about. We're on for a good round. This man's just got a solo birdie and then done that. That's a super bad chunk. <laughs> All right, so mine's just rolled off the back, so we're gonna go with mine, because obviously fences went about 20 yard. So we can pump this close and tidy up the power. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Okay, 
See if we can get close as well. Roll. Ro oh, it's even better, is it? Mm, bit much for muchness again. Can't tell. Okay, so for the clean up, I think it's pretty much straight fence. Okay, oh. Yeah, well in. Come on. Solo par. Solo par, yeah. Needed it. Come on. Right, hole 13. This is a somewhat short par for us, about 294 yards. There's like a really big divot ditch thing to carry and then a big boy bunker in front of the green. So looking to land it somewhere between the bunker and the ditch with the driver. Bomb. Hit that car. Nah, about 20 yards behind it, I think. You're literally just between the sign that says where to carts to go in the bunker. A1 position. Yep, yeah, so let's just have some fun with this one. Yeah, good hit fence. Has it leaked into the bunker? Yeah, it's leaked into the wasteland. Never mind. Right, so we've got about 40 yards left. It was a cracking drive, but it has left us with this dead awkward shot over this bunker. And the green's elevated as well, so getting this to stop could be difficult. I've resorted to the 60 wedge. I don't use it much, but... Clean this club in his bag. Yeah. Situation calls for it. Come back, come back, come back. Hey, do you know what? It's not dreadful. No, it's all right, is that? Right, so, as we all know, I only use a 50 degree wedge. So it's gonna be even harder for me to stop. You're bumping this into the bank? But yeah, I think so. We'll see what we can do here. No, I'm not. Okay, so we've both chipped it a little bit too far past. I can't actually tell which way this is bending. It's got to be down to the right, I think. I'm gonna start this a little bit out left and see where it ends up. Go, yeah. go, go. Yeah. Ooh. It really doesn't need much of a hit, mate. Okay. Soft, very soft. Alright. Oh, I've pushed it. Pushed it and not hit it. Oh well. In for par. In for par. It's a shame because we were close. Hole 14, this is a 307 yard par 4 uh, that requires a textbook fencer fade, I think, around the corner. I'm just going to try and do what I can, but this is made for Fentiman. Oh, banger. Okay. Absolute A1. Yeah. yeah, that'd be nicely up there. Money, that one. Right, another one where I'm not sure I need to hit, but let's have another steady one. Yeah, cracker, mate. Yeah, I don't think it'll reach Luke's, but if I were playing by myself, I'd be well happy. When does it? When <laughs> does it? Really good drive. We've got uh, 89 yards. Fence says it's playing 92. Nothing really in the way unless we push it right. So we can just go straight at a pin here. I've got a sand wedge. Ah, I think I've caught it fat, mate. Oh, I don't know. No, it's okay. It's going to be up there. It's going to be put in. Not terrible. It's just not brilliant fence to stick one closer okay so as Luke said 89 yards playing 92 I hit a really good 91 yard shot with this pitching wedge if you remember on the either third or fourth so we're gonna go for the same one it looks money does it I think it should be good I'm not sure about yeah distance lengthwise but it's probably about 15 foot left but let's have a look shot mate so another good 91 yard shot there from me. Yeah, you were a bit closer than I was, so it's I. A nicer putt. Let's have a putt. Come round. I don't move no, it all, mate. Does it? Straight at it. <sighs> wow. <laughs> okay. It should be easy, yeah. <laughs> Time for the clean up. Yeah, well done. Yeah, easy, easy per, par. Yeah, come on. We need well some done. birds. Another though, don't par. We? I think we're, birdies needed. Are we still one under? I think we're level. 
level. Right. Okay, hole 15 is a 463 yard par 5. It looks nice and wide this one, and it does suit a fender fade. So I'm going to aim for the left hand bunker in the centre of the fairway and just see if I can peel one off there. Hopefully leave us in the fairway. I didn't see it down. I think it's in the bunker. Oh, you're joking. I think. Wow, I must have piped that one. Right, so Luke's in the left bunker. I'll probably be short of it, so I just want to be down there. That's what I was talking about. The fender fade, right down the middle. Oh, I think that's going to be a horrible. I think that's going to be a horrible stance on that bunker. Is it? Yeah, I think it's just curled along the right edge of that bunker. Do you have telescopic we'll eyes? Go and have a look. Check out my legs, me. by the way. Bam, bam, bam. Been eating alive over here. Yeah. Moscow's don't, uh, Moscow's mosquitoes don't like us, do they, Ollie? <laughs> <laughs> that's where my ball's finished up. Safe to say, we'll be taking fences. Okay, so good drive, it snuck past this bunker here. We've still got 295 yards to go. So we're just going to advance it up there. We're going to get out the lesser spotted air road yet. The three woods. And see if we can smack one. Oh, he's absolutely cracked one. Get in there, mate. It crept into a bunker, maybe? You th oh, has it? Oh. Sure, I don't want to use the air road yet. No, I'm okay, mate. I've got the... <laughs> I topped this bump for fun. Oh, he striped it with me. Oh, it's a bit right, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's down there on the right somewhere. I had like a fence banana slice on it. We've ended up short in this bunker here. Okay. Just that right hand turn on the ball didn't set it quite right for us, so. Seen a bunker shot for the first time. Oh, and I've fatted it. They're very fluffy, mate. Oh, no. Very fluffy. I'm just not very good in bunkers. It's too wet. Yeah, yeah, it's too wet. You did the same like me. I took too much sand. Okay. Yeah, there we go. You see the difference? Yeah. This and this. Yeah. yeah, just like it's not as deep, is it? Okay, so we've got out the bunker. So we got this for birdie? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, so it's a reasonable look at this then. I think it's fairly straight, you know. Oof. Ever so slightly right. Okay. Come on, let's sink a birdie putt. Come on, lad. Ah, uh, push that. Oh well, par. Easy par as well. I think we're still level par, so we've still got a chance to get under par, but we're running out of chances. Three holes to go. If we can get one more birdie, two more pars, I'd be happy with yeah, that. Yeah, same. Hole 16 then is a 400 yard, my watch is telling me, uh, par four. So it's uh, fairly straight away off the tee. There's some lovely looking trees down this hole though. But we just want a ball in the fairway. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, it's up near that tree, but I don't think it's close enough to be a problem. Okay, so he's near the tree. So maybe if I can get near him and a bit further right, That'd Might be, be ideal, a better line in. Yeah, ideal. Sit a bit. Just right hand side. Ah, oh, it's way short, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Too much swaz on that one, boys. We'll set the was drive. Okay, we've got about 200 yards. We can't see the green, but we do know where to hit to. We've got a bunker front left, bunker front right to avoid. So I've got four iron. I'm going to just try and run it down there. Ah, oh, no. Way too far left. Way too far left. Ooh. Okay, so Luke's hit his way left. I'm hitting a hybrid. Yeah, nice fence. That'll save us, I reckon. Oh, good line. Yeah, that's okay. Ooh. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've ended up left of the green here, giving a bit of duff info for the channel. <laughs> Won't say it too much out loud. Because um, if we'd have been right, it would have been up green. <laughs> anyway, it's been me. Let's, I'm going to try 60 degree only because I think we've got a bit of hill to go up here. 
and then it's short sided so come on oh mate and that's as good as I'm going to get with a 60 degree wedge if I'm honest yeah as good was that cheers ok my turn I've got a sand wedge oh yes oh this could be even better two really good pitch shots from us there you're not going to see us do much better than that yeah let's go Right, I think mine was just about better than fences, but there weren't a loss in it at all. Again, this is a fairly straight putt, maybe just off the right side. Go in, go in. Oh, it dies right at the end. Okay. Right, so I need to start out a little bit further right than Luke's did. For par. This could be good. Oh. oh. So close. Okay, clean up. Yeah, well done. Not ideal, is that a bogey? It is a bogey, mate, yeah. Oh, it puts us over par, going into the last two holes. Yeah, one of them par three, which we've not been amazing on today, so... We need to up it. Yeah. Okay, so we've got hole 17, we need to make a birdie here, or on the last. Uh, I'm going to take a hybrid, we don't really know what the yardage is, but it seems like a hybrid would be a sensible play here. Oh, pushed it out left. Up in that back bunker. Back left bunker, yeah. Right, fence try till well we thought it were 190. I'm not gonna blame fence because it wasn't his fault. Um it's 157, did we say? Something like that. Seven iron. Oh, it's going left. Oh my word! I could not have landed in a worse spot. <laughs> right behind a tree. So Luke's ball has literally nestled up within an inch of this tree here. So there's absolutely no way of going at this with Luke's. Mine's in the bunker, still not going to be ideal, um, but it's just reminiscent of how we've played par threes today, really. Just absolutely no luck. Let's see what we can do from that bunker, if we can salvage a par. This is going to be tough as Al's is. This yeah. is... It's all running away from us. Yeah, it's going to be so tough. Let's see if we can just stay this on the green, please. No, this sand's too wet. I can't take a, I can't take a smash at it. It's not good. Might all, be better clipping it. All comes down to me again. Oh dear! Please sit down. Well, it's better than mine. It's out of the bunker, but you couldn't call it good. No. Nope. Just trying to get this near. Oh, it's just checked up a bit. Yeah, bit, bit right, right on the edge there. Chip on as well. <laughs> just died. as bad, isn't it? Yeah, none of them have died all day. Okay, clean up job. Close but no cigar. bit higher than me, fence. Oh, I've whacked that past. <laughs> Jesus, wept. We're falling apart right at the end. Please stay till the end. A double bogey. That is not good. Par threes have been the death of us today. Hull 18 then, it's the last one. It's 520 yards. It's dead straight back down to the clubhouse and the church. So a really good drive over this hill would put us in prime position. Albatross time. Albatross time. Yeah. And I've not done it. Ooh, that's very, very, very right. Save me, fence. Okay. Get over it. It's okay. The fairway is there. Wide. Yep. Thank you. Oh, it's right. Crumbly. <laughs> so I've got 320 yards there. Really good drive from me there, right in the middle of the fairway. Luke was just a bit right in the wasteland, so we're getting the aerojet out again. See if we can get it as good as we hit the last one. Oh, can he? Mate, that is even better. What a shot. Yeah, drilled that, Anna. Absolutely drilled it. Absolutely drilled. Okay, I mean, if I follow that, I'll be well happy. Maybe just a little bit right offensive. Yeah, probably. 
Nope. It was a bit right of fences. I'll give you that. It was also about 150 yards short of fences. <laughs> Let's go see if it's landed okay. Yeah. So I've hit that three wood there off the deck 224 yards. Now, how do you make that make sense when I don't even hit my driver that far? <laughs> There must, there's just must be something wrong with my game. If anybody's got any co uh, tips or comments, please let me know, because I don't understand. Just fence golf, innit? Yeah, it is. What we got in, mate? 108. Okay, so we've got 108 left. Pin, centre of the green. We're gonna hit pitching wedge, we're a little bit downhill. See if we can have one final good pitching wedge. It's trying to come round. This could be actually pretty good, mate. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, very good. How much are you going to swap to? Day. Right, okay. Fence has put it in pretty good. See if we can get inside him again. Oh dear. That's just awful. Never looked like it in a green. Don't worry, we've got a putt. Good job fences carry me here at the end. I'm, I'm crumbling, boys. <laughs> so just off the right, you think? The standard has been set, mate. You've just missed some absolute corkers of putts there from our playing partners. Can okay. we follow them in? Probably too far right, that. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's just right edge. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Well, to finish it off, finish with a par. There yeah, we go. Well We'll take the par. We're a few over par, I think. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Pleasure. Pleasure, it was a nice. pleasure. End of the round, chaps, and we've finished three over par. So mm. not the score we were looking for. Fence actually did a lot of heavy lifting in there because I was mate. I was dodging places for a while. Not bad off the tee. Fence pretty much did the rest, I'd say. Yeah, we had a couple of solo birdies in there, yeah. which is nice. And actually today just restored a bit of confidence back into me. I like doing a scramble. I'd implore anyone to do it with your friends. It just helps you get a bit of confidence back into your game. Good fun, in it? Stress-free golf. Really good fun, you know. You know, if you hit a bad shot, you don't get frustrated over it because you've got a partner you can rely on. Yeah. And you can start attacking things as well. So yeah. three overs, not really that bad for our level. Not at especially all. Especially abroad. It's a tough course. It's a nice course. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. Yeah, shout out to Benny Moore for having us out. We really appreciate it. If you get a chance to come and play it, definitely do. It's a decent course and it's got some spectacular views around it, it really has. And uh, you're in Portugal, so you've usually got the sun. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I know it's not our best scramble score, but we give it a good crack. Remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. See you later.